Hello friends, this video on our environment part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to understand what is ozone layer because before we actually try to understand what it, how does it harm the environment, we should first know what it is. So what is ozone layer? It is a protective layer around the earth which absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun. I'm sure so many questions arising in your mind. You might be thinking, what is ozone actually? So we'll talk about that in the next slide. The next question that might arise in your mind is, what is ultraviolet radiation? Here I have very nicely written it as UV radiation. What is ultraviolet radiation? Now the sun emits many different types of radiation like the visible light which enables us to see, the infrared radiation, the ultraviolet radiation. There are many different types of radiation which actually comes out from the sun. Now out of all these radiations, ultraviolet radiation is very high energy. I mean it has a lot of energy and that is why since it has too much of energy, so it is to some extent harmful to the living cells. It can cause harm to the cells of living organisms like it can cause skin cancer like if some a, a human being skin is exposed to ultraviolet radiation for a longer time there is a probability that it can cause skin cancer and finally kill that person right so ultraviolet radiation has harmful effects for the life existing on the earth now this ozone layer is nothing but a protective layer. So here in this picture you can see that this is the sun, these are the UV rays and this is a ozone layer. So it acts like a soldier providing protection to our house. So house is the earth and soldier is the uh, ozone layer. So that is basically ozone layer. So now you understand what we mean by depletion of ozone layer. That means the ozone layer is vanishing up. So presence of ozone layer is needed for our protection, right? So now let us see what actually is ozone. Now ozone basically is a deadly poison. So it is a, a contrary that a poison itself is acting as a protector here. So ozone in itself is a poison but this layer formed of ozone acts as a protection from the ultraviolet radiation. So for us ozone layer is a protector. Right? So this ozone is formed at higher levels of the atmosphere. Now basically when we talk of ozone, ozone is written as O3. What is O2? O2 is nothing but molecular oxygen. Right? So O3 is ozone. So now how is this ozone formed? Now when I write O2, I am talking about molecular form of oxygen. When I write O, what do we mean? We mean one atom of oxygen. So O represents oxygen atom, O2 represents molecular oxygen and O3 represents ozone. So now the question is how is ozone formed and how ozone helps in preventing the ultraviolet radiation reaching the earth. So now at the higher levels of the atmosphere, oxygen is present. So oxygen is abundantly found in these higher levels of atmosphere. Now when the ultraviolet rays fall on the atmosphere, it splits this oxygen to form oxygen atoms. So when ultraviolet radiation fall, falls on this oxygen, the molecular oxygen, it splits into the atomic oxygen. And then this atomic oxygen combines with some molecular oxygen to form ozone. So this is how ozone is formed because at the higher levels of atmosphere there is too much of molecular oxygen available. So whenever ultraviolet radiation forms, this oxygen will break down into the atomic oxygen and then this atomic oxygen again combines with a molecular oxygen to form ozone. Now what will this ozone do? This ozone will then absorb the ultraviolet radiation. So once this ozone, so what will this ozone do? It will absorb the ultraviolet radiation. Now after absorbing ultraviolet radiation, what will happen? The ozone will break down to form molecular oxygen plus atomic oxygen. That means the reverse process is happening, right? But meanwhile, it is absorbing the ultraviolet radiation. 
and this ultraviolet radiation is harmful for us so the ozone layer is basically absorbing the ultraviolet radiation in the process of its own decomposition so it forms molecular oxygen plus atomic oxygen right and then this atomic oxygen again combines with the ozone to form two molecules of oxygen molecule right so now what do you see what is happening basically first part is the formation of ozone and the second part is the decomposition of ozone right or you can say the disintegration of ozone first ozone is forming then again ozone is breaking so in the first part ozone is forming from oxygen in the second part ozone is splitting to form oxygen but in this entire process what good thing ozone is doing it is absorbing the ultraviolet radiation and that is how earth is getting rid of the ultraviolet radiation so whatever ultraviolet radiation is coming from the sun ozone is absorbing all of it so it is not able to reach the surface of the earth and that is how we are protected from the harmful effects of this ultraviolet radiation so now let us try to understand what do we mean by depletion of ozone layer the word depletion means decrease so the decrease in the amount of ozone in the atmosphere is termed as depletion of ozone layer now let us suppose our house is protected by some soldiers maybe the security guards there are some 10 security guards to protect our house now if the number of security guards keep decreasing what is actually happening the risk of our house is increasing now if the number of security guards decreases from 10 to 5 that means now the security became lesser now our house is more prone to attacks so similarly in this case if the amount of ozone keeps decreasing that means there are lesser ozone to absorb the ultraviolet radiation that means some ultraviolet radiation might escape and it might reach the surface of the earth so the decrease in the amount of ozone is threatening to our atmosphere because ultraviolet radiation is extremely harmful for us so this decrease in amount of ozone is known as depletion of ozone layer and that is why depletion of ozone layer is a threat or is an environmental problem now what is the cause for this depletion why is the amount of ozone decreasing so basically when we say that the amount of ozone is decreasing what we are trying to say is that the thickness of the ozone layer is decreasing let us suppose if this is the earth and if this this defines the ozone layer so this thickness of the ozone layer is decreasing now this decrease in thickness of ozone layer is also known as ozone hole it is also termed as ozone hole that means a hole created in the ozone layer now what is the cause of it why is it decreasing why is the amount of ozone decreasing so one of the most important a very very important cause is the use of chlorofluorocarbons what are these chlorofluorocarbons these are dichloro compounds and this chlorofluorocarbon is often abbreviated as cfc so where are they used and what are they these are basically inert colorless and odorless gas they are inert that means they do not react with anything they are colorless they do not have a specific color and they are odorless so you with these three properties you can just imagine how difficult would it be to detect the presence of these compounds because they do not react with anything so you cannot uh, detect it if, if something reacts with something and forms something else so it becomes very easy for us to detect that if that particular molecule is present there so they do not react they do not have a color they do not have a smell so it is quite difficult to detect their presence now where are these compounds used they are generally used in refrigerators in air conditioners so there in those industries these chlorofluorocarbons are generally used now these chlorofluorocarbons as such they are non-toxic they are not poisonous so see what a weird thing ozone which is, which is a poisonous thing is actually protecting us and chlorofluorocarbons which are non-toxic they are actually harming us 
right so they are non toxic so what is the problem that they are causing now what happens is at the higher levels of atmosphere under very high energy radiation these chlorofluorocarbons gets converted into chlorine and these chlorine are the culprit why because one chlorine molecule one chlorine molecule can has the capability to destroy around 1 lakh of ozone molecules right so who is the main culprit here for depleting the ozone layer it is not the chlorofluorocarbons directly but the chlorine molecules which are produced from chlorofluorocarbons at the higher levels of atmosphere and that is why we say that usage of these kind of compounds that is chlorofluorocarbons should be limited so now let us see what would happen if the ozone layer keeps on depleting the same way if the thickness of the ozone layer keeps on decreasing at this rate what might happen and what has happened in the past so many years so here if you look at this picture you can see that in the past so many years gradually the concentration of ozone is decreasing right so that is a serious threat for the environment because as so when it decreases a little bit it doesn't cause much harm but gradually when it keeps on decreasing a time will come when all of the ultraviolet radiation will be able to reach the surface of the earth and then we know the consequences right so here in this picture you can see it actually shows the different colors actually show the concentration of ozone so here you can see the more reddish the color is the more is the concentration right so here you see it depicts the year so how it has been predicted by nasa that in the coming years if if things keep on going like this so in the coming years the ozone layer might get completely vanished as well so in that case a day will come when the existence of life would not be possible on earth because whatever life forms exist here they might die off because of the harmful ultraviolet radiation so what are the consequences of ozone layer depletion it can cause many harmful diseases like skin cancer leukemia that is blood cancer or breast cancer it can also damage the immune system now what is the significance of immune system in our body they are nothing nothing but the security guards of our body they actually help to prevent and help to fight infection inside our body if we have a strong immune system we tend to fall less ill diseases cannot attack us but if we have a weaker immune system any small disease might attack us and they might even kill us so having a strong immune system is very very important and this depletion of the ozone layer that is the ultraviolet radiation can damage our immune system it can damage the plants so overall you can see that it can damage all types of life forms because if all plants vanish off no other living organism will be able to exist because every living organism depend on plants for their food so now what should we do to control this ozone layer depletion, depletion? because if this is the scenario where um, the ozone layer can spoil everything existing here like like they can even uh, affect the plants now how do they affect the plants they actually affect the adversely affect the process of photosynthesis therefore plants cannot prepare their food so eventually they will die they also cause more water to evaporate through the stomata of the leaves therefore the content of water inside the plants as well as inside the soil becomes less so these two things put together can kill a plant So now when we know that there are so many harmful effects of the ozone layer being depleted so what should we do to control this depletion first is limited production of cfcs that is chlorofluorocarbons if possible we should ban the production of chlorofluorocarbons because they are the ones who produce chlorine in a large amount and one chlorine can kill so many molecules of ozone right next is minimize the usage of pesticides because even pesticides prove to be harmful to the existence of ozone layer usage of eco friendly household cleaning products because there are some products which will be eco friendly that means they can be they are degradable 
they can be broken down into simpler forms which can again be utilized or recycled in the atmosphere but many of the cleaning agents which are actually being used in our houses they contain a lot of harmful and poisonous chemicals which actually interfere with the existence of the ozone layer so we should make sure that we try to avoid things which actually cause the ozone layer to deplete because after all ozone layer acts as a protective layer for us so that is how that is all about ozone layer what is ozone layer how is ozone formed how ozone layer actually absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiation what what acts actually causing the ozone layer to get depleted and how what are the measures that we should take in order to control this depletion so then thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again